welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to join your private windows 10 device to microsoft intune so let's say um, your company allows you to join your windows 10 device to be managed using uh, microsoft intune so it is actually very easy to do just that so if you are using the latest version of windows 10 what you need to do first of all is to go to your start menu and then look for the microsoft store i think i have the microsoft store here just click on the microsoft store and then search for company portal app and then click just click it so we're, we're going to download the company portal app which we should allow us to get join our device to our company Microsoft Intune. So it says Microsoft Intune helps organization manage access to corporate app data and resources. So just click get. Say no, I don't want to sign in. So it will actually download and install it on your device. So it's downloaded the company portal and it's going to install it on your device. So after the company portal has been installed on your device, so what you need to do is just launch it. So here you will need to enter your um, Office 365 E3 or E5 or Microsoft Intune license um, email address. Mind you, your account must have the Intune license to be able to join this device to your company Intune. If not, you will not be able to do that. You may be able to log in, but it's going to actually fail to register th th this device in your company um, Microsoft Intune portal. So click next, then enter your password, and then click next, and you click sign in, please. So I'm going to skip this for now. So say allow my organization to manage my device. Click OK. So I'm going to skip this for now. So hold on, just hold on. The device is being registered, and so just click next. Has put on your account. Click next. Yeah, which means that um, I will need to actually um, use the Microsoft Authenticator to authenticate that I actually owns that account. So um, don't let me just use it. I want, I want to use a different method to actually do that. So I'm going to use uh, my telephone and click confirm. So you need to enter your company code. Um, this is Belgium. So just enter your telephone number. next so a code will be sent to you which we will need to enter so everything is here in Dutch let me just enter the code that has been sent to my telephone and I think the code was three seven 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 six six so click next so it says the SMS is, has been verified so your telephone has been registered and so I will need to click next and then okay so okay so it says uh, your organization requires you to set up your work or school account with a windows hello face or fingerprint or pin so definitely you will need to configure a pin let me just configure a pin and then enter a new pin again and then click ok So and click almost done so click next so let me just say so i need to verify that i own this device as well so i need to click just enter my password and then click ok but mind you to actually allow your users to be able to use this process i think it's actually easy or better for you to make a documentation that we allow your users to be able to follow the steps which they will require to actually join their device to Microsoft Intune if they are using their personal device because if you are asking someone who has never never joined a device or doesn't know what to do to join his device to Microsoft Intune they may actually have a problem and may be confused on what exactly to do so you may just write actually a one-page documentation to actually just, um, 
guide guide your users on what exactly they should do to be able to join this device to Intune. So here you can see that this device has been joined to the domain. And if I click on the home page, uh, let me just try to see if here you can see app category. We don't have any app right now. Also, we don't have any download um, available. And you can see that this um, the device um, is, has been checked. And also, if I go here, I can actually request for help or support. I can decide to go to my name. And you can see my information here, my email address and my user's name. So if I go back again, let me see. This device is actually WP001. So if I start the command, let me just start the command prompt and show you that you can see that the WP001. So if we try to go to, let me just see. Okay, you can see that the device now has been actually joined as a W. It's an Azure AD registered. It has been joined, which is joined by me, and it's being managed by Microsoft Intune as well. So if I go to my endpoint manager, you can see here we are, we are not seeing the device right now. So let me try to refresh. So by refreshing, it may take some time for this device to be actually populated here in Intune because we can already see that the device is already here, which is the WP001 and um, it has been joined today and uh, if we look at the time actually that it was joined which was not so i think about five minutes ago so let me just try to click on that and you can see here is a windows device it's an azure day registered and also the device is uh, registered by kelvin johnson and it's microsoft intune managed device and also you can see as a wp001 so if i go back again i think it will, it's going to take some time and just try to refresh and see if we can have any info right now but right now we don't have any info so it may take some time for this to be displayed in your intune device so after some time you will if i try to do a refresh here and let me just go back to my endpoint manager and here if i go to devices and all device and here you can see that the my personal device has been registered in Intune so it's, it takes some time so probably if you did not see that device immediately in Intune don't worry so it's going to take some time maybe some minutes or probably some hours to be able for that, for that device to be able to join to your MDM environment and you can see that say the ownership is actually personal and it's not um, corporate and if I go here you can see that it's still actually syncing so let's see if we can see some properties right now we've not we are not seeing any properties right now or any uh, discovered apps because it's still actually being synced from my um, to MDM so if I go to overview here you can see that it says it's still being synced so it may take some time for this to be actually properly synced you can see that it is compliant and it's personal and also if I go back to my Azure Active Directory here you can see that the device is compliant which is CCCS and also it is um, Azure AD registered and it was registered by me and actually here I can see if the device is personal so let me just try to click if I can see here you can see that we have some more information which of course the device shows that I registered that device with my email address my user's name and I'm the owner of that device thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video so if you have any question you can always send me a personal email and i'll reply to you as quick as possible or you can leave an you can leave your comment below in this video and my email is can be found actually in the description of this video so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye